Hey, what's up, guys? The Bookshare again. Welcome back to Meta War Soul Squad 2. We're playing Rob's Realism Mod again. This is going to be the third video that I've uploaded in a row. I wanted to do some World War 2. It's been a long time ago since we did Meta War World War 2 action, but now we're back. Don't worry, I'm going to be uploading the next episode from our uh, post apocalyptic Red Rising series. Uh, along with more Star Wars Galaxy at War. I have those videos and battles planned. I just really wanted to play this mod now because I'm in, I'm hyped for it and it's amazing. But this is the kind of like the third and final map that I've found uh, that comes with this mod that I wanted to just uh, make a quick scenario on and, and throw it out there so that you guys can enjoy it because it is really cool. Uh, but we'll, we will return to Rob's Realism mod very soon again. Don't worry, this mod has a lot to offer. But I'm probably going to start thinking about creating some maps um, from realistic battles and stuff like that. Um, there are obviously a lot of maps that come with the game, um, just like the basic multiplayer maps and single player maps, but I'm a little tired of them. And a lot of them are very arcade-like. They're awesome. They're great for multiplayer play, but I want stuff for, for cool scena um, historical scenarios. So this is going to be uh, uh, the Pegasus Bridge one, obviously, as you can tell. Uh, I've been here in real life too. I've seen it. And I gotta complain. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, it didn't look quite like this when I was there. No. Well, duh. Uh, there isn't really much left of it. I mean, you could walk across it. Actually, got it. Yeah. Shit. They moved the bridge. The real one wasn't there because they had replaced it. But the real bridge was just nearby in like some sort of mu museum area where they had a bunch of other things. I believe that was the case, yeah. Um, because it was kind of old and stuff, I guess. Damaged too. Uh, so, you guys have seen, uh, you've probably read about the Pegasus Bridge, and if you haven't, you've at least played Call of Duty 1. Uh, the first Call of Duty there, where you play with the Captain Price and those guys attacking Pegasus Bridge, so you guys know what's gonna happen. It's night, and our paratroopers will be making the move. Let's click start. So we have a platoon of British paratroopers who are assaulting the... I'm not sure if this is the south or north end of the bridge, or it could be west and east too, of course. Um, but this is where they realistically attacked from. There's sort of a um, town part on the other side. And it looks like they have cleared out this part right now. Bunker has been knocked out. The Germans defending outside have been killed. But there are more on the other side. Oh, I think that little guard post was just hit by a, uh, a Piat. <laughs> I heard the detonation back there, firing off the, uh, the the projectile. Oh my god, is that a sewer system? That's so weird, never seen that before. Hmm. Okay, the Paris are securing the area, getting into the trenches. Are they going to cross the bridge to take out the last German soldiers defending the other side? We'll find out. They're just going to assert their positions over here and... Um, I'm going to head back into the regular game mode and see if we have any Germans remaining. Oh, we do. Um, about three or four of them on the other side. And we're going to let the AI finish this entirely. We are not going to be controlling anyone during the scenario. I'd like just to get the cinematic view and enjoy the action. Are they going to swim across? That's very bold. You know, you can walk across the bridge. And they know that too. I'm just... There we go. This guy's going to be very experimental and have a go. He's got a brain gun. <coughs> or his mates are coming over as well. I like these bits when the AI is kind of like trying to find each other, sniff each other out. Oh wow! Hit fire that bitch. That's gonna be a little. Uh, that's gonna be a little crazy, isn't it? I yeah, can try. Why don't you um, put the bipods there on the uh, the guardrail of the bridge? That'd be cool. So we have a uh, shooter back here, an MP40 soldier. SMG gunner. Oh, he's still getting pinned though. And he's got comrades back here. He's trying to get into the trench, but that's going to be a short-lived attempt. 
to find safety there down in the trench. They are both shot down. And I believe that's the last of the German defenders on this side. Thank you guys for watching this scenario. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was awesome. I'm kidding. Uh, if you've played Call of Duty, you know that there's a daytime section of that too, which is awesome. Uh, the Germans will be defending this. I guess it's early in the morning. Uh, let's take a look at the casualties before we start, though. Uh, we have taken exactly one, two, three, four, five. Uh, paratroopers in casualty while the Germans have lost all 30 so if you ask me that's pretty damn good good job chaps cheerio uh, now we need to defend this place and I intend to show you my setup I said I wouldn't control any AI and I won't uh, not during the combat itself I will however of course set them up for the actual assault and due to the fact that you guys like to watch um, watch all this stuff I figured that wouldn't be a downside thing I like to edit out things that kind of ruin the immersion, but we're not spawning anything in. They're all here. So, uh, let's get these guys set up. Actually, we are, but not really spawned in. There we go. So, we're also going to be deploying a um, brand gun on a tripod that we've brought with us. And we have a two-inch mortar, which is, I guess, very tiny and stuff, but that'll be cool to use. And I will keep my riflemen at hand because they've got long range and they're damn deadly. I think I'd rather just... Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, use my SMG gunners on some of this weaponry that needs uh, requires a little more. Um... Yes, sir. Wait, did you hear that? What the hell was that all about? There's a German alive somewhere. I swear I heard it. I swear I heard German. Okay, interesting and crazy at the same time. Very spooky. So this guy can fire at the other side. Excellent. He'll he'll remain there in his little bush. In his little bush. I wonder if we Ready can set up some sandbags around him. Do we have any Go sandbags? Ahead. Lads? Yes, sir. Lads. Go ahead. Get to work. Before the Germans Ready get here. It. Before the Germans Go get ahead. here. Yes. Move. Got it, sir. Get out. Yes, there we sir. go. We're building you a small bunker section. It's going to be a little rigid, kind of hard to deploy. But this will be good. This will be good stuff. Yes. Bren Gunner. Can you carry that yourself? No, you cannot. It, Sergeant, help him. Yes, sir. Let's go on a trip. Where, oh, you're carrying the ammo? Nice. That looks so good. Look, he's carrying the ammo and the other guy's carrying the brain gun. dum de doo dee dee dum dee dum Okay, we're just gonna... We turn this boat around. That looks really cool, though. <laughs> awesome. Now, where do we set up the brain gunner? Well, eh, right side. Can he fire over these sandbags? And that would be excellent. We want to hold this. We want to hold this down too. So we'll have a couple of troops up there that can retreat back if, if it, you know requires it. So this guy's pretty safe. He's going to be able to provide mortar support. Very good. Uh, yes, more brand gunners. I think I need to take all of you lads and put you on hold position because I know how you guys can get a little rowdy, rowdy, rowdy. Ready for orders. There we go. And you two, although I do not suspect you moving around all too much. So that is impossible. So what we did was. We're strong soldiers. We just picked off a couple of sandbags in the section and we were like, boom, look, works perfect. Realistically, I mean, if there were a couple of sandbags blocking your, your view, you would just take them down, wouldn't you? So they done, they done did just that. And now they've got this area covered. And they're fairly safe from the left, too. So I think that's a pretty good position for our brand gun. Oh, but yeah, let's not put a P at soldier yes, on sir. that one. There we go. Right, that would be a waste. Let's put this guy over here in case we get any armor coming our way. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, go the Germans ahead. are going to be setting armor. Hint, 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 hint. Uh, let's also occupy this lovely little sort of window section over here, which is really cool looking. There's sandbags on the other side, and this guy can spit fire all over Germany. Maybe not. We're tr testing that. But as the strong British soldiers we are, of course we can... Not the house, Jerry. Not the house. There we go. 
Realistically, I mean, I think this is all acceptable. There we go. Excellent. He can fire out of the window. He's got a little brand guy going there. That's excellent. Um, also, the flak guns. Yes, sir. We're going to destroy them. We're here to destroy them. We're not here to it, use them. I mean, the Call of Duty. Yeah. yeah. Awesome to, you know, freaking... I mean, use it, I guess, as... um. Against tanks and stuff in the missions, but Go ahead. Yes, sir. we're here to destroy them. That's our objective, and obviously make make use of other things. So we're destroying German equipment. There we go. Uh, there we go. Get them back Ready there. For Rifles. Ready for orders. We've got a lot of Bren gunners over here. Well, we spawned in like I think we had two per section. Paratroopers. We gotta be heavily armed, don't we? <laughs> we 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 got to. Otherwise, we're dead. Back over there. Yes. And we'll use the Jerry Bunker as well. Got it, sir. With, of course, what else but more Bren Gunners. Um, do we need to establish something back here in case they kind of push right. through? I guess, but um, HQ says we're fine, so we're not. These sandbags are awesome. They're going to, obviously, as the human intelligence, put them a little bit closer. And we'll have some SMG gunners on the other side. Yes, no, man. Eh. Yes, we'll put six people on the other side. It, Ready for orders, Two rifles, three SMGs, one Bren. For the whole... The feeling, you know? Go ahead. Rifles! Go ahead. Reporting! There yes, we go. Sir. Piet operator. Hmm. Could use a guy down here back by the sandbags. Got it, sir. Probably fit another yes, bloke sir. in the bunker. Got it, sir. More Piets. Keep you down there in case I need you for special services, you know. And get another rifleman back there to the far right. That's a pretty widespread defense. I'm liking it. Go ahead. Uh, Get these guys into the trenches. Yes, and be ready to defend. King and country, George. Some people up here in the city. Ready for orders. Excellent. These men, these six strong, brave men, will be on the um, free move so that they can retreat while these men will not. They will obviously have to hold this down. Now we just have to wait until Jerry shows up. Here they come, lads. Make ready! Get ready! Hit the explosive barrels behind the half tank. That's very interesting. Open fire! Half-Track was just hit by a peon, but somehow survived. Another miss. Oh. There we go. That one's nailed. And I believe we took out the crew uh, in this one here in the center quite nicely, because uh, we can shoot the gunner through the sort of mesh grid on top there, which is interesting. Engines are still running, but the soldiers within the vehicles seem to be dead. Other than the vehicles, the Germans who uh, came with the vehicles have also been shot to death. Uh, most probably killed while riding in the transport vehicles, the uh, the half-tracks. Oh! 
stuff is going ham back there. Our Piats have done a very nice job at taking out the uh, enemy vehicles. This was some mechanized infantry. Perhaps the Germans will send more. Let's see if we need to adjust our defensive positions. And, um, yes. Well, we've caused quite a bit of a mess here. Casualties actually. after the first wave. Five British soldiers on this side dead. Only one man standing. It is Sergeant Peter Mason. He's going to run across the bridge and head back to the safety back here where we have lost one more man uh, manning a Ren gun that the sergeant will happily crew. Can you? There we go. Otherwise, I'd have to do what strong British men do when they lift away the sandbags. Can someone quiet those vehicles? It's really pissing me off. Oh, here he had. Hmm. He had the dynamite. We, and I, and I gave these guys a, a rough time for not placing the dynamites right when it was me, who messed up on the clicking. I just did right click, and of course that removes it straight away. So what's making the sound? This guy here. We'll leave this one standing. It looks more normal than a one that's gone down into the ditch. German soldiers that are under attack, usually drive down into the ditch, I guess, but. If they're not, they they rarely do. And if more troops are coming in soon, maybe, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes to check out the situation, then we better not make this seem like a mistake. Or it better look like a mistake. I'm not entirely sure how I'm reasoning behind putting dynamite behind there, but it looks fucking cool. There you go. That'll scare them. Yes, we wanted to scare the Germans, not uh, avoid them or make them unsuspicious of our next moves. Good job, chaps. Good job. Ah, 30 minutes later. Doesn't look any better, does it? Nope, the scene is still a mess. Oh, wait, I hear something back there. What is this? Oh no, what is Joe bringing to the table today? Panzer. Accompanied by uh, what believes to be SS. Nothing we can't handle, Paris. Although that tank will be a bit of a problematic. That is the right word. But problems can be solved. And we will solve it. British style. Just keep your head down. Oh! Shit. Not sure what happened there. It, this man could have killed himself by hitting this thing here with his piat. That would have been extremely unfortunate. Do you intend to use that, sir? Or do you want me to do it for you? You are not... Oh. Looking to hit that. Oh, I promise not to control any of the AI, so I won't. Look at this guy. Carefully pick out his targets. What is he going to do? Has he found the Piet operator on the left side? Is he going to smoke him out? No, he's found the Bren gun. Ah, right. What happened to the German infantry back here? Well, slaughtered. Absolutely cut down. See, that's pretty much impossible. This tank is going to be the last obstacle. Pee it up. Now's the time. I'm not controlling you. I'm just making sure that you have vision. Fuck. Let's do it. Oh, we missed. Well, I'll tell him to engage and we'll just see how he does it. Clearly wasn't in the mood to do so alone. Nice! Internal components damaged. And we'll smoke the crewman jumping out. That was awesome. I don't think we can throw much more at the British now. They're getting worn down by the second. <laughs> Let's look at the casualties now. Uh, we have taken another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, six, because one was here before. And our platoon has probably been cut down to just a section at most. But we have thrown a lot more than uh, than they could realistically have handled in, say, a bar fight. But then again, they're strong British men, so they might have been able to. Um, knocked him out. Dimplik, you told him to shoot it. Well, um, sometimes when the AI is being stupid, you just got to remind them how, how good they really are. Get them to fire that P at, you know? So, 
He sure did. And that ammunition is on fire. Let's watch that for the end of this show. And this... This, this scene will go up with a bang. <laughs> Comedy. Hope you guys enjoyed Pegasus Bridge. Three different settings. 500 different units. By now. Secure your role in the world. I'm, I'm entirely sure what that's supposed to mean. Uh, oh. Yeah, there were some survivors down here. Did you hear that? Maybe that was the German who was shouting before. Hello. Anyone alive? No? Well, I mean, you got hailstorm of bullets heading your way, whoever it was. And the SS was just cut down here. No no chance given. I mean, look at this. We just had a couple of brain guns. This man here. Got it, sir. He's responsible for ten enemy deaths and one vehicle. He's used his brain gun to pierce through the bloody hull of one of these things. Maybe he's got armor-piercing bullets. Right? Probably the weaker half-track. But this man probably cut down every single SS man back there. He was like... Bren gun, man. 20 rounds of distraction. This man's got four kills. Sergeant here's got five. This man hasn't done anything. One kill. Two kills. Zero kills. One kill. One kill. Mortar man. Zero kills in the mortar. But man, two kills. So... This guy's just standing back here. Three kills and two vehicle kills, though. Very nice. I mean, he obviously took out the tank and probably something else back there. Nice to see that these trench huggers here have done so well. It's been a long video. It has. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you guys soon again. Bye.